Am I the asshole? For staying behind while my husband had to leave our vacation early to deal with our daughter. I often go visit my sister and her husband in another province, flying there and back. This time I decided to invite my husband along with me for the first time. He wasn't very keen on going due to our home situation our daughter, 24F, still lives with and is heavily dependent on us as she is recovering from severe substance use disorder, and her mental age is really more like 13 due to the effects. This has caused issues when leaving her home alone in the past, for example the last time I went to visit my sister, my husband wasn't home the whole time because he flies in and out for work, and while we were away she relapsed, had random people over to our home which was not allowed, made a disaster of the house, and was so high on amphetamines that she was delusional, and calling all of our other children yelling unintelligibly we have three other kids who are all out of the house. She also has a habit of leaving taps running for no reason, and is generally not a very responsible person even when we are home. I convinced my husband to come along anyway, however, because she hasn't used in a few months so I thought it would be fine, plus it wanted him to help cover the costs for the trip. During one of the layovers, he had a phone call with our daughter and afterwards told me he got a bad feeling, that her voice sounded off and he wanted to turn around and go back. I again convinced him that he was overthinking things and it would be fine, so he agreed to keep going. The day after we arrive, however, I receive a text from my son saying that we should probably book the first flight home. Apparently he had gone to check up on the house over the night and had discovered our daughter clearly high, the house in absolute disarray, a street person and their dog in our house, and the basement flooded. I guess they were both too high to take the dog out because it had defecated in the house multiple times. She had also been driving our car around, which we left her the keys to, in this state. My husband knew he would need to go home to deal with it, and I decided I would stay and enjoy the last five days of the vacation since it had already been paid for and we might as well get our money's worth. My husband didn't oppose this and has gone home to deal with the extensive damage due to the flooding, however my other children are saying that this was unfair to him and selfish on my part since the vacation was my idea. My husband is also saying I should have listened to his concerns. I tried to explain that I have to enjoy my life even if I'm caring for my daughter and it's not fair for me to not be able to go on vacation anymore due to this, and that I couldn't have seen this coming, but they are still saying I should have known better and shouldn't be making my husband deal with everything. Am I the asshole here? You're the asshole. You are indeed allowed to enjoy your life, but is your husband not? You sent your husband home alone to fix and clean up everything himself and take care of your daughter alone. While you are the one who put him in that situation to start with. That is extremely selfish. Your other kids are right. And I decided. It's very telling, those things should be a mutual decision. Would you have been okay with it if your husband decided that you should go home and take care of everything while he enjoys his vacation? I couldn't have seen this coming. Lady, I saw it coming halfway through this story. Sorry, but you and your husband aren't equipped to be dealing with your daughter. You're getting old and it's not going to get easier. You're the asshole here, especially for the line I decided that my husband would return home to deal with it and I would stay and enjoy the last five days of vacation. Cruel and selfish. He didn't even want to go and if you didn't pressure him into going there wouldn't be anything to be dealing with at home. You're the asshole again. You're the asshole. I tried to explain that I have to enjoy my life even if I'm caring for my daughter and it's not fair for me to not be able to go on vacation anymore due to this, and that I couldn't have seen this coming. But you aren't caring for your daughter when you are not there, and dragging your husband away with you so that he can't care for her either. It's not fair, true but you could certainly see it coming. The worst was you bringing along your husband so that he would defray your costs, and then dismissing his well-founded concerns after he talked to your daughter. You're the asshole. Curious to know how often your husband gets to take a break considering the fact you often leave to go visit your sister without him. Doesn't he also get to enjoy his life? Then when the shit hits the fan you tell him to go fix the mess you should have seen coming a thousand miles away. 
You are enabling your daughter to live like a homeless junkie. But in your house. Knock that shit off and get her real help. You are in serious denial and you are flying off so you don't have to make tough choices. She needs rehab or has to leave. You need video surveillance so you can enforce this properly. Above Reddit's pay grade. If your daughter is only sober when she's being watched, and she uses every time you turn your back, you're not helping her address her addiction you're just blocking her temporarily. Put her in rehab or kick her out until she figures out if SHE wants to be sober, because right now she doesn't and it's not working. You're the asshole your husband is not the sole parent. Your husband did not want to go on the trip due to daughter's issues. You wanted him to come to offset your cost for the trip. What? Your daughter is dependent on you, you chose to house her and allow her to rely on you, then left her. You could have helped her set up in a sober clean house. Do not take on responsibilities that you cannot handle and then get upset when everything isn't rainbows and unicorn puppy kisses. You're the asshole he didn't want to go because he didn't think it was worth the risk. You only wanted him to go with you to share the costs. When his prediction came true you decide it's his job to clean up the mess that you claimed wouldn't happen. You're the asshole. Your daughter practically destroyed the house and made a big mess of it, your help wouldn't have gone amiss. In such an emergency situation, the two of you should have gone home and repaired the damage. You're the asshole. Sounds like the only reason you even wanted your husband there was to help cover the cost of the trip. Once you had his money you didn't care if he was there or not. Info why wasn't someone paid to stay with your daughter during this vacation? IT you're so selfish. You get to enjoy life and your husband has to fuck off back home to take care of your daughter. Guess old age don't bring wisdom after all. You're the asshole. Reread your post, you left a newly recovering drug addict by herself, knowing the last time you let her stay there by herself the house was in chaos. How could you think leaving her again was a good idea? You're the asshole. You left your husband to deal with a situation he saw coming a mile away, deciding you deserved vacation, and punishing him for giving in to your cajoling that he should come. You're the asshole. This cannot be real BC no one can be that fucking stupid to leave a barely recovering substance abuser alone at home. I get that you're burned out, and need a break, but covering your eyes and pretending it will all work out is delusional. You should have been the one to go home and deal with it since it was your bright idea to leave her alone in the first place. ESH, you said your husband flies in and out for work. Sounds like you deal with your daughter 24-7 while he travels. This was your break from your daughter. Albeit work, he still gets a break. Your other kids are upset with you, are they older? They could have taken turns staying the night with her if they feel you must care for her 24-7. Most of all if she keeps relapsing and has cognitive problems, she needs to be in a residential treatment program. You're the asshole. A blind person could have seen this coming but because you are so narcissistic and arrogant and selfish you chose not to see it, acknowledge it, or deal with it. Don't be surprised when you have no one but the homeless man and his dog left as the only people in your life. If your husband is smart he will divorce you and leave you to your sister. Most likely your kids will side with their father as he seems to be the only caring parent they have. Get over yourself and go home to take care of you sick child. You're the asshole daughter needs serious rehab. You're the asshole. What a life. Your daughter needs rehab and if she does not want to help herself then she needs to leave your house. Both you and your husband are terrible enablers. This is not going to get any better until you deal with the huge problem at home. Anyone who read the first few lines could see this coming from a mile away. You're the asshole both of you for allowing this shit show to continue. You're the asshole. Do you even care about your daughter? You received a calling telling you she is in need of assistance and your response is meh, I'll enjoy more days with my siblings. Do you think she is a burden and would rather she disappear from your life? It's that it? 
Maybe you need to send her to a rehab center, maybe you could have taken her with you to visit the relatives. You won't win THW award for best mother of the year for sure. I'm going to buck the trend and say NH. You obviously have caregiver burnout, and who could blame you? But it's long past time for you to get her out of your house and into a treatment program. Tough situation all around I'd recommend looking into no anon or even all anon to help address the codependency issues going on here. He volunteered. He said that it was okay. You got a vacation from being a constant caregiver. Why does anyone else have an opinion? You should apologize for not trusting your husband. You're the asshole but you will never see it because it seems you only care about yourself and what you can get out of a situation. You're the asshole. Stop enabling her and kick her.